the oracle card you got was moon um take note of intuitive messages use your intuition practice discernment see through illusions and blockages the moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine energy of receiving if the sun is god the moon is goddess and so she offers powerful energy of polarity and balance she has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions which often comes and goes in waves and to somewhat interesting behavior so when the moon appears in a reading you are often being told that not everything is as it seems the moon has a dark side just dark not negative and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about lunar energies are surrounding your life allowing you to understand what is standing in your way not everything is as it is as it seems and you're being guided to use your discernment when the moon appears intuitive or psychic urges are increased so take note of any feelings arising at this time they are messages from your soul and angels the moon shines her light on all of all that has been kept in the dark so ask yourself if you are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance if so it could be holding you in the shadows when your destiny is to be in the light if this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you know that their intentions will be revealed to you the moon has no secrets she reveals all and i'm seeing number 77 right now so if you've been seeing 77 a lot it might apply to you or 88 or 66 okay um, to clarify it, I got the Eight of Swords, which is about being, like, the girl in the card is in front of a mirror, and in the mirror, she's, like, tied up and bonded by these ravens, but, um, it's not real. Like, in real life, she's not bonded and locked and blocked. It's more of, um, her mind playing games with her, or, you know, your mind playing games with you. Um, so it's like, in a way, choosing to be blocked by this illusion, even though you can, you have the freedom and the free will to, like, release yourself from it, right? And then I got, um, the lovers. I'm picking up on strong Sagittarius energy, uh, strong Gemini energy and air signs so libra gemini and aquarius energy the lovers is also about making a choice in love or having to decide uh, between two people but i'm feeling more of a pull to somebody and um the person thinking that they're stuck in their current situation or they're bonded to it but there's going to be the illusions are going to come to light, basically. And they're showing me 317. So I don't know if 17 is important to you. But they showed me clearly like 317. Um, so I clarified it with some love oracle cards as they wanted me to. And I got twin flames. Your passion ignites. So obviously this is a twin flame connection. A divine counterpart connection sacred love whatever you want to call it um but that deep soul connection right that you have with somebody um then you got trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform to me this is it's more of like accepting the truth in the situation accepting that you are not bonded accepting that you are not stuck there it is all an illusion um fucking shit i am picking up on some magic that was <laughs> Ooh, that was thrown at uh this twin flame connection and i don't want to give it too much power because like you know magic never lasts it always especially that type of magic and whoever sent it is gonna be you know it's gonna come go back to that person tenfold so it's a feminine energy um the last card i want to leave with is i just heard everything's gonna be fine so don't freak out either you know 
and don't give it power by being scared of this energy that was thrown at you of anything stay more in your heart stay more in your um be grateful for the blessings that you do have they're showing me 511 and 1111 um so stay stay rooted stay grounded stay you know obviously protecting yourself when you wake up in the morning you can say no intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me no intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me no intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me um and then the last card i got was wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so clearly there's some healing that needs to be um that needs to happen as well and i just heard a love conquers all so that's a beautiful message to end with um okay so i did four spreads but apparently these two go together um i got a snake which is shout shadowed skin from the oracle deck and that's about like a kundalini rising or an ascension um it's also about releasing the old like the snakes do with their skin healing deep healing obviously um but this healing this releasing of the old is keeping up this person up at night because i got the nine of swords to clarify it and the three of wands which is waiting uh the knight of swords is giving more of the energy of maybe you're like waking up to nightmares i'm sorry if you're going through that that's not fun um but you're you're going through the process of it you're you're facing your insecurities you're facing your fears you're facing them you know these oh okay some of it might be like nightmares that are rooted in fears and insecurities but some of them might be just the text of this dark energy that was sent out to these two twin flames um and again remember this happens because of people's egos and this also happens because um 733 they're showing me this also happens because people are afraid to lose right what they've worked so um long on or whatever and we know how intense the karmic relationships can be um again don't bench the karmics they're just there to trigger the stuff that need to be healed you know and um and it 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 does trigger us to our awakening so chill out chill out we good we good um there's just no point in like sending that type of energy either you know because it's just like you're you're falling for the game you're falling for that you're giving it more power than it needs to um but this love is divinely guided and divinely protected and i just saw a bunch of ancestors like ready so very protective energy around um these twins so there's no need to worry but they if you are having nightmares at night it might be just the attack that was sent out for the connection um to like make it weaker or break it or you know whatever but don't give it that much power i'm seeing 999 so you've been seeing 999 a lot it might be resonating with you but they want me to read from the snake the snake card on the oracle deck so i'm gonna go ahead and do that <clears throat> And again, don't be scared about this energy that was sent towards you. If anything, stay more in your grace. And obviously shield and protect yourself with however makes you feel comfortable. Before you step out of your home, make sure you smudge yourself with whatever herb works for you. If you're using white sage, please use one leaf at a time. There's enough, you know, enough... Um, 
we have a big issue with it so please use it mindfully don't burn the whole bundle that's not how you do it you're just wasting sage and you don't need that much one leaf is fine um okay so cast up snake shadowed skin cast off the old reveal your true colors talents and gifts to the world in many spiritual traditions the snake offers powerful medicine in tantric teachings it symbolizes a kundalini which is a powerful serpentine energy with within that allows you to reach your highest spiritual potential when the sacred one saw a snake in nature or encountered one in a dream you might also be having like actual dreams with snakes in them which can represent like kundalini rising or you know a form of protection and wisdom as well for me the snake card not only represents the shedding of old skin but moving beyond the limitations cursed by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past so the past i don't know if you guys can hear the bird tripping but the past can be haunting you in a way or your partner the energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time if for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others know this energy is not leaving you so a lot of mis like if you feel very misunderstood by people remember that once people have a certain projection of you right um they stick to that so even if it's not a real version of you they still stick to it it's like they want to misunderstand you so don't give them that much power as well like don't don't do that you know who you are that's all you need to know you know as you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences so again with the eight of swords that makes sense like a blockage of swords your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized and now the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within if you if you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges so take accountability and be open and vulnerable to your person this is a time for renewal abundance and connection let yourself be reborn and celebrated. So don't be too hard on yourself because of things they're mis They're showing me 1244. You might be seeing number 44 a lot as well. Um, Don't be too hard on yourself because of past mistakes. Because we got to remember that those lessons are what made us who we are. You know, that wisdom and that pain is what makes us who we are. And you are not stuck and you are not bonded to anybody. Even if they did try to use dark magic to bond you to them. That's the dumbest shit people can do. Why? Because it's it's not going to last. It's going to break at some point. And when it breaks, it's going to be a whole shit show for the person who did this dark magic. So, I want to leave on the love oracle I got for this, which is power. You, instinct, inst you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And they're pointing out that behind, on the back of the card, it's a couple. And um, the girl has a snake wrapped around her head. So there's like two snakes, obviously, in the reading for this one. So... I'm gonna leave it there and remember like don't give this dark energy that much power because when you do that's when you fuck up so stay in your grace stay in your blessings stay focused on the stuff that you have to do and always protect yourself always form a shield around you what helps me is they're showing me number 22 as well what helps me is like shielding myself with the white light of the infinite creator which means like all of the colors of the auras right all of the spectrum of the light so just stay protected and again say in the morning or at night they're just wow 1441 which is a mirrored number which means um twin flame energy but again you can shield yourself by saying no intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me 
No intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me. You can even count your twin in as well if you want. So no intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me and my twin. You can say that. No intentional or unintentional evil shall prosper against me and my twin. No intentional and unintentional evil shall prosper between me and my twin. And I say it three times if you notice because it's you should chant in threes at least. Like if you're gonna chant, do it at least three times. And I'm gonna leave you there. I hope it helped. Um there's another spread that I have to do that also has the twin flame energy because you got the high priestess and the high priest. So we'll see. But yeah. I hope you have a blessed day. And I hope this wisdom helped a little bit. And remember, don't give it power through fear. If anything, know your power. Know that you are protected and you are guided. And your guides and ancestors are already working on it, you know? Peace. Rise above the fuckery. Stay resilient.